Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today, I'm going to share with you a stock that literally everybody is sleeping on. If they're not sleeping on this stock, they're sleeping pretty similarly. It directly correlates with this stock. So, um, between us, we probably know a lot of people who invest, who are literally sleeping on this stock. The stock number I'm talking the, st <laughs> the stock I'm talking about is Sleep Number. The I think they're a mattress company. Maybe they do home furnishings. I'm not really sure what they do. Um, but we're gonna review the stock. Let's look at their financials. Let's see if the stock price is overvalued or undervalued, or maybe if it should be two, three, four, five times X. Let's look at the charts. Are the charts telling us that they it's going to go up or it's going to go down? Uh, so yeah, let's dive on into the sleepy stock and hit the subscribe and the like button as well. Let's go. All right, you guys, we are on finviz.com, the world's greatest website. I recommend you check it out. Okay, um, not a sponsor. Let's get my big old head out of the way. Doo -doo -doo. Whoa. All right, this is sleep number stock. Uh, the first thing I see as someone who looks at patterns is a cup and handle. And I love that the right side of the cup is higher than the left side of the cup. So uh, I really like that already. Um, let's, let's look at the weekly and then the monthly. Wow, look at this drop off. Historically really good prices it looks like. Wow, this is trading at 2017 levels. Wow, 2014 levels. This is trading at 2014 levels. Has the company improved since 2014? Yes, I'm circling this. Yes, they have improved. EPS, that's a little scary. It just fell off a cliff. Uh, let's, let's reset this. Okay, um, weekly looks like it. Is kind of turning around. Oh, can you guys see that candle? Look at that death. That is a very bearish candle right here. High upper wick. Oh my gosh. It could also be a um, inverted hammer. But um, yeah, we'll see. I do want to review this one in my think or swim because it's a little bit more versatile. Look at the momentum here, ready to bounce. Look at this volume increasing. Can you guys see that pretty well? You can. So what I like, volumes increasing, um, out of the volume that's going up, there's a lot of red. So if we start at the base, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of the eight months, actually, let's call it seven because we'll say this one doesn't count because it's not really uh, come to fruition yet. Uh, out of seven, four of them are cell candles. A little scary. Um, and it gave us a false... A false move here so people likely huddled into the stock right here literally at 17 they thought it was gonna break it did not break so what we need to do is we need to see if institutions are driving manipulation so let's add that to our list of things to do um, I do want to see what this looks like on the yearly chart um, because what this is gonna tell me is if Ah, the yearly chart shows it's going down, um, downward in momentum. I don't know, can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see. So, whoom, literally the stock went from $15 to 151 It 10 x in two years, less than two years. And now the stock is back to 28 Oh my God. So we're going to see if the stock price deserves to be at this price or it should be lower or higher. So, um... Just looking at the charts, I would say this is getting ready to make a move. I would 
be hesitant because I have some lines here, but let's create some fresh charts. We'll do a fresh chart here. Let's reset this. Let's reset this. Okay. So basically, let's add just one long historical line. Support and resistance has been like right there. I'm looking at the very beginning over here. I'm looking at all the other points it potentially touches. So right here, 1969 has always been a good line here. This one's been always good as well. 1825. So um, the 1825 support, it looks like we bounced off the 1825. That's good. Um, wow, this got down to 70 some cents back in the great crisis, Spanish crisis. Wow, okay. Um, so yeah, this is sleep number. Um, I'm gonna guess it probably has a lot of debt, but let's let's look at the numbers. Let's look at these real quick. Okay, so we've got the momentum turning. It's showing the momentum turning here as well. So my thinkorswim and MACD on Finviz is great. Money flow, we can see money is going into the stock. However, the relative momentum indicator is going down. So although although this is showing it's ready to make a move up, the relative momentum is saying, no, 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 it's going down. And if we compare that to this move right here, this is when the stock was around 15. I'm circling right here. It aligns to the price right here. Look at the direction it went. It was going up. This is going down. So a little bit of caution here. Strength is kind of mid. It's at 41.5 right now. We want to see this about 50. Look at this strength right here. It went from 38 uh 91 kind of like a direct line this is kind of petering like doo, 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 doo. i don't know what the sound effects mean but it's just it's just trading sideways so um first up is there any i just want to see institutional manipulation fintel snbr so institutions own 98 percent of the stock I would say they might have more because this has been on a long-term downtrend and I think, and it's a low float, and I think institutions are probably nibbling pretty hard at this. So 98.92% is the old data. 103% is the new data. So institutions are buying. However, I would not say they are, I would not say that their purchasing is manipulation. Um, and just looking down here, it looks like Stadium Capital started a new position recently. Alliance Bernstein trimmed heavily. Kempman Capital started a new position this year. Uh, Vanguard decreased. BlackRock increased. Um, so nothing too crazy. I mean, we have people buying. We have people. We have institutions and hedge funds buying and selling. Uh, the Vanguard 200 cut 50% of the value. Um, I mean, and then we have this company, a, a fund adding 230%. So again, um, it seems like it's a mixed bag there. Gross margins are 57%. That's amazing. Um, okay, so I think I have the information I need on that end, I think um, institutions do have interest in this. So mark that down. Institutions do have interest. Money flow is going in. It was a great time to get in down here. Um, money flow is heading in the right direction. As we can see right here, when it was around 15, it was turning up. The money flow is turning up, so that's good. Um, earnings. Okay, earnings just happened. What happened? They must have, yep, they tanked. Okay, perfect. Well, not perfect, but I mean, it's a good potential opportunity. So what we're gonna do is add cash, or we're gonna add sales. We're gonna add income. We're not gonna add the market cap because the market cap is under 1 billion. Oh my gosh, their quick ratio is a 0 0.10, meaning they have, they are on the brink of extinction. That's scary.
So let's run through my calculation here. They make 2 billion 110 million. Good for them. 2 bill 100 million. Yep. They have income, positive income, 46 million. They're profitable. That is great news. Great, great news. Um, they have one, $1 million in cash. That is not healthy compared to. Historically, they used to have 20 million in cash. They used to have 11 million in cash, and then they just went super low on cash. Are they offering a dividend? They're not. Okay, good. Wait. They're not. Okay. So we're going to add 1,790,000. Yep. Okay, cash or debt. This is what's going to make me nervous. Total. Oh, not that. That's not that much debt. Minus 459,600,000. That is not bad at all. I was thinking it was going to be a lot more. Okay, so they they owe 459.6 mil and they are making 2.1 bill. So that's that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I feel okay with that. Um and their total debt, it's getting worse. It's getting a lot worse. Um total assets 953 million, total liabilities Okay, that's one thing we do not do. We do not buy stocks with more liabilities than assets. That is a huge risk. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying the words here. If liabilities exceed assets, and the net worth is negative, the business is insolvent. So, they're not bankrupt, they're not insolvent. Julie Howard believes in the company. The CEO is not buying. <clears throat> Man, that's a bummer. Um, and their liabilities are only getting much worse. Their liabilities are only getting much worse here. Their assets are getting a little bit better, but not. it's not following the same trajectory here. <clears throat> so although the chart looks really healthy and it could pop, I can't say I like this company because they're in trouble. Um, we're going to see the stock price go down for sure. <clears throat> yeah. So that's a bummer. Let's see. That is a bummer for sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's finish my calculation off. So all this divided by 21,080,000. So the fair share of the stock should be $80, but given the position they're in, <clears throat> yeah, no. So this is a really big risk, <clears throat> a really big risk. I like it, but uh, it's just so risky. And you know what? It was probably really risky back in 2009 as well. Whoops, I just did some. I messed this up. I don't know where this line was. Crap. What did, how, where did this line come from? I don't know. I'll put it right here. So again, really risky. It's uh, they it tried to break upwards and it couldn't. Uh, we gotta we gotta we gotta pass on this. Although it does it looks very enticing from a technical standpoint. And I know this was really risky back in two thousand nine as well. But I mean, I just can't. I just can't. Can I see older reports? I don't think I can. This is uh, pretty bad. Uh, 
uh, and they're 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 guiding for lower as well, which is not healthy. I could see, I could see shorts pounding this down to like freaking eighteen bucks. I'm not saying it's gonna get to eighteen bucks, but eighteen dollars um, feels like it. That I would feel better there, and I would feel better if they paid off some of that debt, and I'd feel better if they got their books in order because. Oh my god. Like, come on. Jeez. So. Yeah, I. I don't know. I can't. I have to I have to let go of this stock, even though like everything looks good. If you have more liabilities than assets, and you're guiding lower and sales are going to be lower, revenue is going to be lower, income is going to be lower. Your quick ratio is 0.1. You have $1 million in cash as emergency. Ah, I want to really love this company, but... We're going to have to pass. I feel bad because it's showing profitable now, but next quarter it won't be profitable. Um, gross margins should take a hit. This needs a nice wake up call. Yeah, unfortunately. Oops. Man. So, yeah, I mean, historically, this is not a bad time to buy. If you think sleep number is going to be around for several years, you do you, but I think I would wait till I see this get lower and I want a little bit more confidence in the company. I want to see insiders buying. I want to see them get their assets and liabilities figured out. How long have they been like that? Man, for five years. So back in 20, yeah, like, back 2017 and then the stock just got really hot <clears throat> so so yeah i mean it's hard from a technical standpoint to reject this one because i mean this is an epic return epic recovery rsi kind of looks like a bear flag money flows coming in but man the relative momentum indicator is saying hell no so i gotta say pass but i would love for those of you guys who are long on this to win I want everyone on this to make money if you're long, if you're short. Um, but it, for me, I can't, I'm at a standstill. I wouldn't even, I couldn't short this because look at the, look at the technicals here. Like it's ready to roll around. Technicals say go long. Fundamentals say go long. But I mean, the balance sheet says short. So either way, I hope everybody wins. I'm going to stay out of this one. Thank you for watching this video on stocks that people sleep on. If you made it this far, please consider hitting the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.